Yo. Yo, Jordan Imp, this, this right here is crazy. I, I, I feel big, you know what I mean? Like, not, not big in the sense of weight, you know what I mean? Like, gaining weight up, nothing like that. Like, colossal, like, you know what I mean? Like, Let's go. Cool. That intensity high doing reps. So 15 a set. So 15 reps a set. So three, four, five sets on the exercise all the fence, all by that feel. When everything feels nice and pumped, I'm still feeling nice and flat. So let's get it. Let's get it, buddy. I want to be 260 all muscle. It's pretty fucking good. Looking like I just want it all. But law, kill him so cool. You could call me Mr. Frost. Come find me with him. All right, guys, next up, we're doing some lateral raises. We need those big delts. We're pumping it up with the push. Now we're gonna do some flies. We're gonna fly away to golden ball delts. Three sets of 15. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, it's, about, it's so old, dude. Buddy, if you're talking while you're doing a set, then what? Intensity's not up there, Chiao. Come on, Jackson. Money is ever feeling lost. I just want a ball, so sick of playing toss. I remember back then I had a dream. Since then I've been sleepwalking. All, all, all the ups and downs I was seesaw in. Only made me strong like steroids. Game time, I just heard these niggas like a bell boy. So I wouldn't say that this is the most productive workouts, but it's a fun one with the boys. Just focus on getting a pump, looking tick, crushing out of the beach, doing some cliff jumping. Let's get it. Intensity is the key here. We don't have much time, so let's get in, conquer, get, get out. out. Huh? Back in high school, I used to go to the gym with like all these guys and like six or seven people. And then one time I went by myself and this guy's like, where's your posse? You and your eight friends that take three hours in the gym. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> what is this? What the What the heck so good. so good and tasty. To finish her off, we're gonna do a couple sets of chin ups. We're gonna go as many reps as we can, three to four sets, and then we're gonna head to the beach. So let's get it. Let's get it. So we didn't end up filming the cliff jumping yesterday. We were with the boys, had a great time, decided to leave the cameras to the side. But now we're gonna eat some salads, jump to the gym, eat some nice nutritious food. So let's get into it. All right guys, so I like to do it with some steak. Medium rare is a way to go. I used to love well done, but I switched over. I'm thankful I did. Some hummus, some corn, got some beets, some spiraled beets, a little bit of white cheddar, sweet potato, broccoli, sriracha sauce, onions, green and red pepper. This is the ultimate healthy protein micro, everything friendly meal. This guy's even got some uh, soy in there for some extra soy gains. And the mommy just up in that protein level, keeping it nice and healthy guys. We're doing a lean bulk, so we're in a slight calorie surplus. Um, the goal isn't to bulk up to like 190 like I have in the past. I'm just 
slowly increasing my calories, trying to put on some solid weight, not too much fat, maintain, um, you know, increase the muscle mass like a tiny bit, guys. Like, we're gonna put a big focus on nutrition here. We're not gonna be going out and doing these eating competitions as much as you guys like. However, if you guys do wanna see us do the 20,000 calorie challenge, make sure to click down in the description below. If we get 5,000 likes, we'll do that. But that's the game plan for this series. So as Kyle said, guys, it's a lean bulk. I have to say I hate that term because I feel like it's everyone's excuse to not actually cut and to not bulk. It's just to kind of do whatever and say, oh, I'm maintaining. So we're, we're gonna go past that. So we were cutting, we were lower, you know, we kind of ate our food, we got back up to our weight. Uh, we never a problem getting up faster this time because we didn't want to do a really slow reverse. So I just set my macros right up to 3200. That's where I am right now. As you guys saw in the other video on my spreadsheet, I'm maintaining that for now. So my weight to really settle out really where I'm comfortable and I'm focusing on performance above nutrition right now. So what that means is I'm making sure I feel good in the gym, I feel fat in the gym, um, I'm trying to eat really healthy as well, like to try to actually kind of fuel my body, right? It's like if you're in a nice car, you gotta put in good gas, but at the same time, you can put on some like filthy mods, right? So something like that for us, like we just had this wonderful salad, but now we're gonna kind of get those sick mods of donuts, which is actually gonna help us in the gym because we're kind of packing in that sodium, that sugar, and that glycogen from the carbs that we can just utilize in the body and just really get it to kind of pump us up, get us going. So we have that 80-20 rule going. But this is kind of our goal right now. Then we're gonna slowly increase calories at a rate we feel good. I only really wanna gain, I'd say about a pound or two a month tops. Uh, I kinda wanna balance out around 210 because I feel like that's where I should settle. And then I'll slowly climb my way up to hopefully by the end of the series, 215, 216. So nothing dramatic, but I'm just utilizing this lean bulk to gain a little bit of muscle, to have some surplus, because you guys know if you wanna gain more muscle, you do want to be in a caloric surplus. However, if I really wanted to gain muscle, I could do more of a dirty bulk like Kyle did last time. You guys see he got really, just got big, he blew up, he made some sick gains because of that. But uh, at the same time, I'm not down to put on that much fat, because the bigger, faster, stronger. I wanna make sure I'm feeling good, really happy in my skin. I can run upstairs, I'm not tiring out. I feel like I got my nutrition dialed down, my, my just routine kind of, kind of completely good. And that's what this series is all about. Uh, we'll fill you in some more, but uh, I think Kyle's getting hungry for some donuts, so yeah. we'll head over there. On a side note though, if it would interest you guys to actually see like some of the other silly non-fitness things we do, like cliff jumping or like some moto stuff, it's something we've wanted to do, but we're not sure if it actually interests anyone. So it'd be real cool, just be honest, yes, no, whatever, comment down below and let us know. So I forgot my RP Max, pretty rattled about that, but at least we got monsters to save the day, so I'm gonna grab the orange one. So I'm gonna go. Sauce me a blue, bud. You got a blue? Oh yeah. Right. Let's get it. So another thing to consider is it is a lean bulk, so I don't necessarily have the macros to go like bacon or something. Like we try to go for the quote unquote little bit better macro donuts that we still enjoy. Like there's some things, if it's like 40 fat, it's just not feasible, it won't fit into my day. So I'll avoid that. Remember, we only want 20% of our macros or so to be from this. Uh, we're just gonna have two donuts and we're gonna try to find ones that are a little bit better than the ones that are a little bit worse. So we went with like the glaze and the sprinkles, which are gonna be like a solid 10 grams of fat or less. Whereas some of the other ones like the bacon can be like 24 grams of fat, a donut, which is crazy. So once again, like I said, we got no room for that, but we got enough room for two that'll fit within our 20%. I had my oatmeal this morning, then I had my nice salad meal for lunch, and I'll probably have some veggies and protein tonight. That's my day of eating. That's what makes me content. Uh, myself and Kyle like to have a big lunch for whatever reason, because usually it's before the gym. And uh, that's how we do it. Okay, I'm gonna do this now, and if you're watching this, it's very possible I've sent you this off of you asking this. So a question I get all the time is what do I eat to gain muscle, to get in shape, to lose fat? What do I eat? How do I eat? Can I have this? Can I not have this? Is this better than this? All the time. Okay. So here's our total breakdown. So first we're into flexible dieting, which is this 80-20 we've already talked about. So 80% try to be healthy, nutritious, beneficial foods that aren't necessarily detrimental to your goals. And then 20%, whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. And I don't care if that 20% is bacon, is drinking 20% of your calories in oil, if you can make that fit, your overall calories. So once again, with the flexible dieting, we count calories, 
count proteins, fats, carbs, and we'll look at things like fiber, and then we'll try to make sure we're hitting our micros as well. But as long as this 80% of healthy foods and this 20% of junk foods can fit that total kind of puzzle, it's okay, right? So the way that works is like, let's say at the end of the day, I have six grams of fat somehow left, like I've finished my protein and I have a little bit of carbs, then it's cool for me to go out and I can eat a block of butter and it'll still hit your goals. It's just not the healthiest thing. That's why we try to limit it to that 20%. But in a sense, it's healthier to follow this if you're controlling yourself to indulge ever so slightly in a day, 20% of your calories, than to have a cheat day where you have 10,000 calories, which is realistically like 300% of a day, right? It just doesn't work. You're being worse in that one day or when you binge, you'll binge out harder and you're depriving yourself. It's not realistic. There's going to be times where you need to, you want to have a sugary thing. You want to have a nice Starbucks drink for your birthday. you got a free thing. It will always come up. So it's about making this fit your life and making it work. And then with the lean ball, we're just trying to have a little bit more than our maintenance. And maintenance is the amount of calories you need to stay where you are. If you want to lose weight, you have to go below maintenance, so you have to cut off some calories off that. And if you want to kind of do a slow, lean bulk, you'll go a little bit above, maybe two, three, four hundred calories above maintenance. For some people, you can push that more and more. And then a big on full on bulk will be about one to two thousand calories more sometimes, sometimes less. But those are general rules and ranges. Hopefully, this makes sense. That's the best I can break this down. I'm gonna enjoy eating the rest of this donut. Please make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Peace out.